Hello, all you Lightroom lovers out there. Sounds of the nighttime. It's... No. Anyway, welcome. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Scott Kelby here. And I've got a wild Lightroom tutorial for you. Something you probably didn't think you could do in Lightroom. So, in this hypothetical situation, I've got three of these cool knives that I shot on a wall somewhere in India. I want another one of these over here. And you think, no problem. Jump over to Photoshop. Get the clone tool do it there. You can actually do it here in Lightroom, which is somewhat of a mini miracle. You're going to use the spot removal tool, right? So the spot removal tool, there are two, two versions, clone and heal. A lot of times it works better in clone, but in this particular instance, it's going to work better in heal. But the reason I'm telling you that is if it doesn't look good with heal, just click on clone, see if it looks better. Here's how it's going to work. So I want this one over here. Just go over where you want it to appear and kind of make a selection in that kind of shape, right? Like that. And let go. And it's just going to pick some weird random place as Lightroom's spot tool always does. Here's what you're going to do. Because it really does pick up and kind of grab what's there, click in the middle of the second one. So if you look real closely, you can see this is the area we removed and then the little arrow points to that's what we fixed and here's what we used to fix it. All you're going to do is click this and drag it over to where it hits the other uh, sword, I guess it is. And there you go. <laughs> It's over there now. It's a cloning miracle done inside of Lightroom. Now, if when you were done, you said, well, I really, I don't really want the other one there. I just, I wanted this one here. Well, now you could just go and get rid of this separately. Now that it's there, you could just say, okay, well, I want to get rid of this now. And it would go choose a ridiculous spot to clone from. So let's see if we can find a better one. Maybe something like... Let's go a little further and see if we can pull this off here. That's about as far as we can go. Maybe something like that. It's not an awesome patch, but it, it's also not terrible. It's somewhere in between. You would probably want to go back one more time with maybe a smaller brush and kind of clean up this area right in here. Let's see how that does. Yeah, thanks. Good, good choice of uh, where to sample from. Let's see if we can sample from something a little little better that's uh, not too good just not quite enough space to we'll just keep going around until we find a better spot and that's not super awesome but probably a little better than where we were but anyway that's how to clone something using Lightroom's built-in spot removal tool hey if you get a second I know you got one because you're watching a video on Lightroom. Why don't you jump over to Kelby1.com and go, hey, they have a 10-day free trial. I should take this. I've heard a lot about it. I know that I've been watching some free videos on YouTube and stuff, but maybe I actually need an education. Maybe I need a guide. Maybe I need to take full-length courses instead of just watching little tutorials like what you just watched. Imagine an entire education. Sorry, I'm getting carried away again. Go to Kelby1.com. Check it out. <laughs> Thanks very much. We'll catch you guys next time.